Hello and welcome to the example side of units, unit conversions, and unit manipulations. Today I'm going to be doing two problems, one which I attempt to find the density of a spherical body, and the other where I attempt to find the radius of the spherical body from its density. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do with any physics problem is analyze the problem. Um, as you can see, it's asking for the density. It's asking for the density in grams over centimeters cubed. We have our radius in miles, and we have our mass in slugs. Here we have our conversions, and I have two new conversions um, from, that were not in the last video, which is y miles is equal to x feet over 5,280, and g feet is equal to h inches over 12. So we need to convert from miles to feet, from feet to inches, and from inches to centimeters. So, pretty easy. Um, we have 25, and remember kilos stands for 10 to the third, times 10 to the third miles. And if we want to go from miles to feet, we're just going to have to move over the 5,280 and multiply it to the miles, and then we're going to get x feet, which is what we want. And that is equal to 132 million feet and then to go from feet to inches we're going to multiply it by 12 so 132 times 10 to the 6 feet times 12 which is going to be equal to 1 billion 584 million inches and then to go from inches to centimeters we're going to use the conversion that we used from in the last video so So we're going to do 1.584 times 10 to the 9 times 2.54 centimeters over inches and we're going to get 4.023362345678 times 10 to the 9th centimeters. So now we have the cent the radius in centimeters and we're going to want to convert the mass from slugs to kilograms and it's the same conversion from the last video so 3, 1, 2, 2 times 10 to the 6 slugs times 14.594 kilograms over 1 slug slugs cancel out and we're going to get 2469926080 kilograms, which is of course equal to 46992680 times 10 to the 3 grams. And now all we have to do is plug it into the density equation. Um, so we have the mass, which is 46. Two six eight zero times ten to the third grams over and the volume of the sphere is of course four thirds pi r cubed. So four thirds pi times four point zero two three three six times 10 to the 9th centimeters cubed, which is going to give us a total of 1.72 times 10 to the negative 19 grams over centimeters cubed. And now, well, I'm gonna, and, uh, now that we've done this problem, I'm going to try to find the radius from a density like this one. Hello and welcome to problem 2. In this problem, I'm going to be looking for the radius of the spherical body, and the information that I have is the density and the mass, and I'm, of course, looking for the radius. In this case, I'm looking for 
the radius in meters. So whenever you're extracting information from a, uh, a formula, I would highly recommend solving it symbolically first, and it's much cleaner and you're much less likely to, to get confused. So we know that density is equal to mass, and of course, since this is a spherical body, it is the volume of the sphere, which is 4 thirds pi centimeters cubed. Um, so we have D, we have M, and we're looking for centimeters. So we're just going to do a little manipulation. So M over D is equal to 4 thirds pi centimeters cubed and m over d times 1 over pi times 3 fourths equals centimeters cubed and so 3m over d pi fourths to the cube root is equal to centimeters which means that the cube root of 3 times 1.25 times 10 to the 21 grams over 9.84 grams over centimeters cubed times pi times 4 is going to give us 3.5 one, two times ten to the six centimeters, which is actually just equal to three point one two times ten to the fourth, since centi is ten to the negative second meters. And there you have it. Uh, I hope this helped you out a little bit, and I'll see you when I make the next conceptual video. Thanks.